In this video we're going to have a look at how to set a task in Firefly. Just at its most simple, how to record what students have to do for a task, which is most likely to be homework, and then how to send that information to them with a deadline date so that they know when they need to do it by. There will be a separate video which shows you how to give them feedback in Firefly if you wish to, and also how to record the results as well. This video is literally just how to record the information in the first place. So what, what happens when you set a task to students? The first thing that will happen is that that will appear in their task list and they can filter their task list to see tasks that are due soon or tasks that are even overdue if they've not managed to finish them yet. It will also appear to parents in the Firefly Parents app if they're using the app on the phone or on the website if they're just looking on the website. It also creates an entry in your mark book on Firefly if you do give feedback to students, that's where that will appear. And also if you give them a grade for that task in Firefly, that will appear in the mark book as well. So to actually set a task, we're going to go to Firefly. I'm already on my tasks page, which I've got to here by clicking on this icon up at the top. And we can see that I've got some existing tasks that have been set. I'm going to go to this option here at the top of the page, set a new task. And I'm going to click on that. And it will bring me up this screen where I can put all of the details. The first thing I need to do is choose who to set it to. Now you can probably choose from a list down here and you can choose an existing group. I'm going to set it to a training group so that we're not using real student data on here. I'm going to set it to the Firefly training class. If you want to share that task with another teacher so that the information about it appears in their mark book, you can add their name here and then we add some details of the task here so this task title is what's going to show up to students in their feed and also what's going to appear in your mark book and on your task list as well i'm just going to call it test task it's quite good practice to prefix it with the word homework if it is homework just to be able to differentiate it from something that they may be expected to do in class or that's a form that they've got to fill out or something else. Just helps the students when they've got a big list of tasks to work out what they need to do. The start date by default will be today's date. You can change that to a future date if you want to so that the task doesn't appear for a few days. If you're being really organised and you're setting all of your homework in one go but you don't want it to appear too early, you can do that. And then the due date you can choose when you would like to have the students submit that work by. And by default, you can't set a time on it. By default, it's basically one minute to midnight on the day that you've set it. So if I set my deadline date now for the 15th, that means if students complete it at 11.59 at night on the 15th, it will still show up as being completed on time. I do want this task to show in my mark book, but if I didn't, I could uncheck that. And if it's homework, I want it to show up to the parent portal as well. What sometimes happens is if we don't tick that, then students see a task, but parents don't see that they've been set that task, and it sometimes gets a little confusing. This option here can be really useful. Are students required to submit a file before they can mark it as done? If you want students to submit something to you, a Word document or an image or a PDF, and you you won't let them complete the task unless they've done that. You can choose yes. If not, then choose no. That can be quite annoying for them if you choose yes, but you don't actually want to file. So no is quite often a default option. And then you choose here, how are you going to assess the task? If you are just recording the task on Firefly and you're going to mark it in the books and give them feedback in the books, you can choose no assessment. If you want to give them a mark, you can choose this option. If you want to give them a grade, or you can choose this option here, and you can give them a mark as a numerical mark and also a letter grade as well. For this, I'll, I'll go mark and grade together. The description field is very much like making a page in Firefly. You've got a number of different options here. You can write to the students and say what you would like them to do. So do question one, you can add images in, you can also add files as well. If you've got a Word document that you want them to do something with, 
you can drop that into the task description and they'll see that as part of it. And again, it's quite good practice. If you have given them a printed copy of something, I always tend to drop the file in as well. That way, if they lose the printed copy, they can always go back to Firefly and they've got access to the Word document or PDF, whatever you've used, that tells them what they've actually got to do. We've got the same formatting options as you would do with a page. So you can make things into headings and you can highlight them and so on. You can also attach files separately to the task. Once you've filled in, all of those fields down at the bottom of the page you'll see a number of options the obvious one is set task which immediately sets the task to the students the other one that's sometimes useful is to save that task as a draft you might want to write the task out but not set it to students just yet in which case you can save it as draft and come back and set it to students later on when you want them to actually do it i'm going to set this task and then as that page loads, it will take me to this option here. I'll go back and I'll view the task. And I can see the information about it. If I change my mind and I want to do something with it, I can click on edit and go back and change it. I can also copy that task. If I'm setting the same task to two or three classes, I can copy it. And it will basically just pre-populate everything on there except for the group with the list of information that you've already put on. Just one thing to be careful of is it prefixes it with copy of. You probably want to delete that so that you can then set it to a different group without it having a strange naming convention. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to make a copy of that one. There's also a couple of options here. When students have completed the task, you can archive it and then it will disappear from the feed. You can still view it in your mark book and you can view it in the tasks feed if you choose the archived ones. Once I've done this, I can switch to the mark book and I can actually start to see student results come in as they do it and as I mark them. Now I just need to refresh this page and we'll see that task up here. So this is the one that I've just set. And if I was to go in and do something with these marks, add them a grade or a mark, that would show up in my mark book. I can also click here and I can go back into the task that way as well if I want to edit it or do something with it. So it's its simplest, setting a task for students so that they know what they've got to do. That's how we do that in Firefly.